This is a video diary of my experience with my family and um, why is my family not a support system. I have no clue either. I do know that I tried to tell them that I, I beg for my life for them and then um, they would hang up in my face and start arguments. I do know that I saw my sister, the, she was the scaredest that I've ever seen my whole life. She was crying and hysterical. And then she started to do things and she withheld my mail and other things. So it's really suspicious on why my family will not let me tell them about my experience. In addition to that, I think that they're afraid. I think that they are aware of the multiple false arrests and they're aware of all the chaos. And I think that someone has talked to them and, and, you know, and they're afraid and they just will not comment on my experience. So, you know, um, a lot of these cyber bullies, they think I deserve it. And, you know, I just don't understand why any individual or even any human being would deserve this. You know, why, how can I convince people, the shelters that will not give me assistance, the police departments, um, getting handcuffed at the FBI, trying to check on my civil case, uh, trying to communicate to the marshals and the marshals laughing. Um, just all of these people that I have tried to have as a support system that have ignored me, getting drug out of churches, begging for my life, um, getting um, threatened at church. So... Not only has someone incorporated their abuse in all these other areas, I believe people are enlisted into every environment that I'm in. That no one will help me. That someone is contacting every uh, situation I could possibly get in to get help. The suspicious not on return calls that are not getting returned. It is amazing. I have called all over the United States for help and my calls are not getting returned. How would people all over the United States know not to call me back? Why would the police department threaten my arrest for trying to report something suspicious is going on with my phone? I called my phone when this first got started. My phone was not ringing. It was really odd. I called all these places and I called my phone from another phone un un unexpectedly and my phone did not ring or register a missed call. Multiple people said, I've called you and you wouldn't even return my call. I said, I did not get a call from you, period. So then it changed. So if someone is so sadistic to where they have controlled and interrupted my calls, use their bullies, the police department to enforce that I do not have phone service, use the bullies to enforce that I don't have a relationship with no one on this planet, including my own family. Does anyone deserve that? And why do I still feel that I'm in it? I still don't have a relationship with my family. They will not be a support system. They will not discuss any of my experience. They will not be compassionate. They get off the phone. They will not talk about it. They will not be a support system. They will not help. They will not give me rides to the FBI. They will not do anything. So someone I feel is controlling them. Why, if your parent is a, and your loved one is in a domestic violence situation, fearing her life, would you forbid her from talking about it? Why would they forbid that at church? So I think that, you know, something is, why would uh, multiple parties, even now on this YouTube channel, why are these comments so rude and hateful? Why are the people that are compassionate and help? anywhere on the planet. So I get up and day after day, I'm looking and I'm searching for support system through this nightmare. It's vital to have a support system and a network going through chaos like this. And I'm robbed of it, even with my own flesh and blood and family. They condone, watch, don't talk about it and do nothing. Like all the other parties I come in contact with. They do not want to talk about the abuse. I, no party have I came into contact with will give me a help on the abuse and corruption. No one on this planet. They may keep this conversations minimal and di redirect the conversation to cover for it. If they would help me at first, then later on it will stop. Just like the domestic violence places, the minute amount of the ones that would help Later on, 
uh, re, uh, retract on that help. Someone is from, for, uh, preventing a lot of people from helping me. That's sick. And it's keeping me in a nightmare. Like I said, I can understand strangers doing it, but something has my family, my own flesh and blood, terrified to assist me. And I have to sit and marinate in that chaos. So that's how my life is. If you love your family, you're not too happy about them not doing anything to help you and you feel your life is in jeopardy. You're living on the streets for the first time, begging for help, and then they will not render it and hang up in your face. It's not the fact that they didn't believe me. Something had my sister terrified in tears and I've never seen her that scared her my whole life. If she knew that mail was vital to save my life, why would my sister, my own flesh and blood prevent me from getting the mail? They told me that they reached out for, to Jason and he said he didn't know me. I think that some kind of way, something had them um, enlisted in the chaos. There's police reports. There's evidence that I've been really getting violated. There's evidence of this. Why would my own family and everyone I come in contact with cover for it? Who is doing this if the stalker's not doing it? If this man, he told me he was worth millions, now it, he has changed his profile and trying to hide the money, but he told me he was worth millions and possibly billions, I have no clue. I don't know who the man is. I met him online. But what I do know, police and all these parties do not cover for someone that doesn't have power. Something is provoking a lot of people to risk their livelihood and felonies. Something has them doing it. So if it's not him, if it's not the man that was telling me what I was doing at home alone, and I reported multiple times to the police and they would not do nothing, I felt um, violated for someone to tell me what was going on in my home. And the police would not do nothing. I said, please, please, please check for cameras. They would not. They kept ignoring the stalking. I told them I saw them stalking. I showed them the text. They kept covering for it. And then a few days later, arrested me on false pretenses. Lied, um, just a blatant lie. And said I saw the officer and evaded arrest. A blatant lie that was on body cam footage. My daughter was screaming in terror. You know, a lot of things I experience, I don't even talk about because I don't think a lot of people would believe me, you know, but there's a lot of incredible events. The stepmom and dad are just still sitting there, will not talk to the 255th district court. They were enlisted in the corruption to go in there and do a protection order. Something had them do it. Whatever had them do it, the police are covering for it. And uh, any past child abuse or any evidence of child abuse. So something is making these people cover for these crimes that are happening to me. It's obvious crimes. I don't know how much proof is needed. What is causing my own flesh and blood and family to be that afraid to where they forbid me to talk about it? Churches forbid me to talk about it. So how, what kind of life would that be for a woman? Most women can go to support groups or talk to their family or get a support system. I don't have that. I don't have that right. I don't get my calls properly. I have called and wrote, I have wrote letters all over the United States campaigning for myself and hasn't, haven't been able to get one stitch of mail. Someone has stopped me from getting my mail. Post offices, organizations, that is a felony. You cannot withhold someone's mail, but multiple parties have withheld my mail. So this is why am I alone? What have I done to my family? My family knows something has them afraid and they will not. They forbid me to talk about my experience like everyone else. So they're not a support system. They will not give me any help, period, period. Not rides, not to spend a night on the sofa, on the floor, not, you know, to crash so I wouldn't have to live in the tent. People I help were not there for me. But, you know, I can't be mad at them. Something has them terrified to sit and just look like the Texas Rangers and do nothing. But um, this is a plea for people that have integrity that are listening. 
How many, how long are people just going to sit and do nothing? Just look. And if they do this to me and get away with it, stop mail and all this other stuff, whatever weird is going on with my phone while I'm not getting my calls. What else can they be enlisted to do? How can someone stop someone from giving you, how, what can cause the government to steal food stamps from someone and child support payments? Now, I understand why a stalker would present this to the government, but what nut in the government would, uh, would allow someone to talk them into stealing someone's child support payment and their food stamps and take their milk? So the stalker has an idea of doing that, which is what I understand why he would present that. But when the government allows the stalker to present it, that's when it gets complicated. So not only has the abuse affected me, something is going on with my family while they forbid me to talk about it and they cover for it. It is something that has them terrified that they won't discuss. But it's, um, it is doing the job because they will not help me, period, along with no other party that I've came in contact with to get out this abuse.